walking down to the beach from the van that was parked at the top there through this little bit of a field with some sheep. Oh, we're on the beach. That's cool. It is a very, very lovely beach. But now we're going to go and see if we can find a pub. Oh, really? Yeah, we are. We are really. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't joking. I you were. Why would I joke about a thing like that? <laughs> Good morning. Hi, folks. Morning. Mm. Oh, we're here at Black Sod, where we've spent the night at this park up on the harbour here, next to the lighthouse. Really nice spot. It was a little bit blustery in the night, but um, absolutely no problem at all. Really lovely, we had the place completely to ourselves mm -hmm. and there's even a pub about five to ten minutes walk up the road which was great, very Una's, welcoming. Una's Bar. Yeah, Una's mm, Bar. Nice. So now we're back on the road and we're heading up towards... Ross... Ross Nola, Ross Nola we think. We think Ross that's Nola. how you say it. So we're heading north into Donegal and onwards. <laughs> I've had some lunch in Sligo, very nice Thai meal, and now we've come to Glencar Waterfall, which looks quite pretty and is only a five minute walk from the car park. <laughs> That's uh, fantastic. <laughs> Result, eh? <laughs> Pretty. It was very pretty. Over and done within a flash. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say if you are passing by this way, it's well worth stopping in. Yeah. But I wouldn't go very far out of your way unless you're really, really keen on waterfalls. And you're desperate to see one that yeah. you've never seen ever. Yeah. But it's very nice. Very, very pretty. Right, so last night we stayed at Rosnaglaw, um, which was down near Sligo. Uh, we didn't do any video there because it was a fairly uneventful, um, normal campsite. There were a lot of static caravans, so it wasn't the prettiest. But we were able to do all the servicing of, of things on the van and get a good night's sleep. And we're now heading up towards Malin Head, and we're currently having breakfast at a fabulous spot on a coast road here in County Donegal. What a lovely spot that is. Somebody just going out for a swim down there. You're probably not going to see it on this camera. Splendid view. Wow. The Donegal Mountains. Very, very lovely. Good morning. So we've woken up here at the Seaview Tavern, which was a pub stay. We stayed in their car park last night. We went in there and had a nice meal and a few drinks last night. It's a pretty remote spot. This is actually the most northerly point, or it's a town that's just a couple of miles down from the most northerly spot in Ireland. 
quite interesting and something which I think a lot of people don't realise is that the most northerly spot in, in the island of Ireland is in the Republic of Ireland and not in Northern Ireland. So today we're moving on into Northern Ireland. We're going to Derry to have a, a look around the city there and then we're carrying on to a campsite which is near the Giant's Causeway. This, as I said earlier, is the most northerly spot of Ireland. So, straight up there, you've got Iceland, I suppose, <laughs> is the next thing out there. Oh, it's a bit windy. Very, very windy. Oh, oi! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's great. So we're on the road now down to Derry, into Northern Ireland, and onwards. Oh, we've just left a town called Muff, which gained notoriety apparently, according to the internet, when they installed a diving board at the sea. <laughs> Here we are then, walking on the old walls of Derry. Now we parked up down by the riverside and now we're walking around this, uh, these old walls, which are really nice, really well preserved and um, make, a, they are. make a really comfortable walk around. Now that we don't know how old they are, we'll find out. It's a mile all the way around. Constructed between 1613 and 1618. There you go. Well, we've parked up here at a windy McGilligan's Point. Now, this is a spot on the River Estuary, just outside Derry, where we look across the side of the estuary, and the land over there is the Republic. So we've driven all the way along there from Malin Head that was up in the distance up here, all the way down there and to the city of Derry that's in the distance down there. Good night's sleep at a great farm um, with a just got eight campsites. Uh, it's called Fade Farm, and it's only uh, two and a half miles away from the Giant's Causeway. So we're going there this morning. Uh, we're going to be there before nine o'clock. So hopefully we're going to beat the queues and have a great day. What's really nice about waking up on a farm campsite is the sound of the animals, the cows, the sheep. Chickens. It was really, really lovely. Such a peaceful sight, and we can still see the sea. Um, really lovely. It's a bit drizzly this morning, although I think actually it might have stopped now, which will be great. So it should be a really nice day. On the walk down to the causeway, these are called the Stuckens. Well, the causeway is made up of forty thousand or so uh, basalt columns which are all about 18 inches across. Having fun, Sarah? Really? Having fun? <laughs> yeah, it is a really amazing site. And a fabulous location. And from up here, you can see really the main extent of the site. It's 
some ways this building's more impressive than the stones. Well, I've driven a couple of miles up the coast from the Giants Causeway. We're now at the Carricka Reed Rope Bridge. Following the footsteps of the salmon fishermen feel the sway of the rope bridge suspended almost 100 feet above the crystal clear blue green sea. away from our next campsite which is um, called Castle Welland Forest Park. See but we've got some fantastic mountains ahead of us which is where I think we're heading. Um, so it's been really lovely. I think we're going to get the bikes out and have a cycle round. Well we are here at Castle Welland Country Park. That's where we're camping. There's a Lovely camping spot that you'll see in a few minutes. And uh, old house, and it's a, a really nice country park with a with a lake that loads of people are doing lots of lake things on, like boating and swimming and generally cavorting around in the water. And there's these little trails that we're currently cycling down. We had a, a quick run down to the village earlier, a couple of pints in a local bar. Oh look at that tree! Wow, beautiful tree. Anything you'd like to say about the bikes? No, I'm just really crazy about it. I love this electric electric bike thing. <laughs> Electricity <laughs> is the way forward. Honestly, it's no effort, is it? <laughs> it can it's definitely say that. Fantastic. Yeah, literally no effort whatsoever. <laughs> hmm. Oh. So I think we found the where the walled garden is. But it seems Put the to be camera locked. over there. So <laughs> stick the camera over the fence. What does that look like, everybody? <laughs> can you see a walled garden? <laughs> if you can, let, what us know what it, let us know what it was like. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah. And here's Sarah. <laughs> hey. hey. Oh, wow. That is a truly beautiful view, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, wow. You know, that when we've often said about needing to savour the moment, mm. don't just let these moments pass you by. You've got to make sure you make the most of it and remember. See all those, those views into your memory. Incredible. This is amazing. <laughs> amazing. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so the one that we were talking about being... Leave Bernard. Pointy, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the largest hedge mazes in the world. It includes 6,000 trees that were planted to make this maze. It was made to celebrate the signing of the 1998 Good Friday Agreement and it represents the pathway 
to a peaceful future in Northern Ireland. Over 5,000 members of the community came together to plant the trees. That's great, that is. Mm. It said it was, um, it represents the pathway to a peaceful future. Aww. just in a town called Newcastle, which is a few miles down the coast from Belfast. Anyway, it's a lovely seafront. You can see the town off into the distance there. Well, this is Carlingford Lock, which is the water that separates Northern Ireland and the Republic in this part. We're taking the ferry across. So the land you can see on the other side is the Republic. We'll be over there in half an hour or so. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. The sea's flat calm. Sun shiny. Stunning. <laughs> Ah, it's so lovely, on. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This is Carlingford Castle with a really lovely view over the harbour. Morning. Good morning. So we're about to board the ferry home. <laughs> it's been an amazing fortnight oh. and uh, we had a good night last night at the Man of War pub with a pub stay. Uh, we didn't overindulge because we knew we'd got an early start this morning and now we're about to get onto the ferry. the Ulysses sailing nicely now uh, into Hollyhead and you can see Snowdonia mountains out there mountain range and it's a beautiful day <laughs> marvellous isn't it and well, actually we've finished our holiday and the sun's been shining all day <laughs> and yesterday lovely so, flat calm yeah, sea it's beautiful. all the way across Somewhere. beautiful crossing totally uneventful so we'll sign off the video here. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever that is.